today we're out here at the Free Flight Nats and I've got Bob Seifley, four time national free flight champion. And today we wanna to talk a little bit about engine timers and how you know how long your engine's gonna run for as that free flight aircraft gets up into the air. Tell me a little bit about how that works. Okay, well, it might start with the, the way timers used to be a long time ago. Uh, they used to have a pneumatic timer that you pu pu pulled out a stem and it uh, slowly worked downwards and, and then it would uh, close a valve on the fuel system and, and that would make the engine stop. And this goes way back to the 1950s or before. Then uh, they, but that was quite inaccurate. Uh, so then they started using clockwork timers. Uh, a, a lot of guys adapted uh, the delayed camera timers. Uh, and they, and they would hook onto it a, a gadgetry on, onto the shaft of it that you could wind it up and when you launch a model you hit a, open a switch to start the timer and then it moves and then it, you, usually they had a thing that pinched the fuel line off and then this would make the engine stop. And then, you know, in more recent years then, uh, you know, high tech things come in and we use uh, electronic t timers. And the electronic timers would uh, drive servos so and, and you adjust it for the time you want and when you let go you push a button when you you know on the airplane when you let go the timer electronics timer starts and when it reaches the desired time well then it sends a pulse moves the servo that opens the catch that opens up the uh, the, the fuel line to flood the engine to stop it and and that's quite commonly used that type of system now how, how do you guys determine what how long that timer is going to go for well, it depends on the rules for the event you're flying. Uh, it, you know, and uh, it depends. Uh, you know, so some events you're only allowed up to maybe a seven second engine run, and uh, other events you're allowed a five second engine run. So it depends on the rules. Well, Bob, thank you so much for taking some time to explain all of these really cool aspects to free flight. I hope everybody out there had a chance to uh, really digest that and, and maybe you know, learn a little bit about free flight and want to come try it out sometime. So Bob, thank you so much for talking to us. My pleasure. All right. Well, that's it for another edition of Nats Demystified. Thank you guys for tuning in. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And be sure to watch our next episode coming out in just a few days. We're going to have a lot of fun out here at the Nats this year, and we'll see you next time.